So, Netflix released a Thai movie called The Murderer. It was supposed to be a comedy, a horror, and a murder mystery. Does it succeed? Chase, we hockey here with the Blue Futon reviewing The Murderer. So what's this about? Pretty simple premise. We are in Thailand and we're following this family with a British guy, an American guy, and people are dying left and right in kind of comedic ways and kind of serious ways as well. But does the tonal shifts of the comedy and the murder shit mix? And the answer to that is kind of iffy, if I were to put it that way. Every time we're focused on the family, I was intrigued. But every time we were focused on this cop character, I was kind of really taken out of the story. So when talking about the positives, I do think it adds nice twists and turns to this, you know, murder-esque, twisty, comedy type of movie. There are kids taking mushrooms, so you're either going to find that funny or not. There are other family elements in this movie that are kind of funny, especially you were in Thailand, but then one has an American husband and a British husband. So they kind of say the white guys, the white boys, the white boys, the white boys. And it is kind of funny when you see a lot of Filipinos, you know, marrying white guys. It's kind of the weird thing where, you know, the Korean War, Korean uh, ladies and white guys. It's just one of those things where you look at, yeah, it happens. It's, it's an interesting thing where, you know, Americans are like Asians. You know, the kind of stereotype is uh, military men like Asian ladies. And that has nothing to do with this movie. But I just think that there is some comedic elements to that in this film, especially where, like, the Thai people make fun of the white guys. But then when a British guy is, like, talking to his wife, saying, I can't believe this American guy is making fun of you guys. And the wife's kind of like, you don't know what they're talking about you, do you? And so the whole element of, like, you know, oh, you're not talking bad about me. Yeah, they probably are. And that element is pretty interesting overall. I will say one thing, making fun of the American, you know, having to make American great ahead. Uh, again hat I don't know what they're trying to do if they're trying to make fun of how Americans look but I mean I've never seen American speak Thai that well so who knows right maybe Trump supporters can speak Thai okay I know that was a freaking joke yeah 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 funny funny Franks I know for a fact the other side no 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 anyway okay when we talk about this murder happening I do think the elements that occurs do work out overall because it is a oh shit moment. What happens to a car? What happens to this knife? Are people going to backstab each other? Or what is the purpose of the murdering? Now, I think the purpose of the murdering actually kind of works with what the story is trying to do. Because some of it is accidental. Some of it is serious. Some of it is prejudiced, if you want to put it that way. And some of it is like, I do not want to get caught for murder. So I'm going to blame these people. So I like the element to it. What I did not like is the cop character. Because at the very beginning of the movie, we're supposed to be told, this guy is the, you know, the cream of the crop. He's going to solve every single murder. But how he does it, you're just like, he's a idiot. He's a bimbo. Like, you're just like, how am I supposed to believe this guy is supposed to solve this murder when he is such a dimbat? Well, I do find funny, especially one with the side cop, you know, trying to suffocate himself, how he's going to torture people. I found that pretty funny. So there was a mix of comedy where, yeah, there's a subtle humor that really worked in the background but this main cop guy this foreground cop none of it was believable and it just felt so fake and forced and just forceful comedy and some of it doesn't work overall but i'll say the twist at the end is it's kind of a good twist i mean it's morbid for sure but you go yeah okay okay i, I can see it happening in the dinner scene oh so freaking gross that is not my cuisine whatsoever. So overall, The Murderer, as a story, I think it works. But there's too much tonal shifts. Which I know it's kind of weird. I'm contradicting myself where I like tonal shifts in a movie. But here, I didn't mind the comedy and murder aspect of it. But it was the main cop where I was just like, what are you bringing to the table? And anything you say or do, I believe you will never solve this murder mystery whatsoever. So the murderer will receive a 3 out of 5 of food taunts. When he goes at 60%. Well, let's see who the critics news scores gave this one. So you have critics a 40% with 5 of them. Audience scoring 88% with fewer than 50. No critic consensus. 40, 88, 80. Chase Hockey here at the Blue Food Time. Like, comment, subscribe. 
Let me know if things boot on Topia. You boot on think about the great day. I don't care about this day, tomorrow, week from now, month from now, year from now. I love every single freaking one of you. Oh, I held in that burp. Was that a good idea? No idea.